and welcome to today's vlog. It is currently 10.05 in the morning, so it's kind of like later, I feel like. It is, but it feels I early. Haven't, yeah, it does feel early. It's like super overcast today. And the so, day has been super long because I got up at Yeah, <laughs> you've been up for like five hours. Yeah, Cove has been waking up at like 5.50, 5.30, so that sucks. I think since like daylight savings and stuff, she's waking up like extra early. And then she already was kind of like on a kick of waking up at 6.30 instead of 7.30. So she's been up in the five o'clock hour, but Lola has actually been sleeping so well. I'm trying to remember what our last vlog is. I had talked about, I think, how Lola was just like so fussy and she was seeming like a hard baby, but she has been a little bit better this past week, which is good. Obviously, she's just a little baby figuring out life, but it's hard when you have a baby that like cries all the time. I'm trying out a couple different things. Um, I started her on a probiotic. That's the only thing I've like consistently kept doing. And so maybe that's helping. And she's been sleeping pretty good at night. I think last night she did like a six and a half hour stretch and the night before and the night before she did seven hours, which is super long. I went to my workout class. She looks so cute. She's wearing, she hasn't worn this outfit yet. Anyways, I went to my workout class this morning. This outfit is from Fabletics. I have some cute new stuff in there that I'll show you guys. I want to organize our fridge today. A couple weeks ago, I got some containers. I haven't like had the time to actually organize the fridge, so I want to do that today when the babies are napping. If they nap at the same time today, hopefully they do at some point. I need to make some breakfast really quick too. So yeah, little update on the morning. Making my breakfast now. Lola fell asleep like way early, so she's napping, and Cove is just on one, like we said. So we turned on a show for her because Parker's already done like a million different activities with her. Um, I have this box of stuff over here, and I came in here to get this toaster, but I'm gonna show you guys these really quick. I got them from Target. They're cute little ornaments for our tree this year. We never put up put it up until after Thanksgiving, so we're not doing it yet. But I'm so excited. I think Cove is gonna. I think these are all like so fun so i got literally a bunch of them anyways i have this box full of like kitchen stuff that i got so i guess i'll just bring the whole box out here actually backstory on <laughs> this toaster i got parker a toaster for our anniversary last month we didn't really do a lot of like presents and stuff so we just got like a little simple things that we needed and one of those things was a new toaster we've had the same one forever and it was just so crappy so i bought another crappy toaster so i was like it's a toaster how like it just toasts stuff like it's fine so i bought a really cheap one i think it was like 12 dollars from target thinking that it would be fine and it is so much worse than the other one that we had it burns everything like only on one side. I saw this toaster on TikTok. This is like a $300 toaster. I've seen it before and was like, no way that I would ever pay that much for a toaster. But since I bought a new crappy toaster, I caved because I saw this right after that. And if it's not worth it, then I can just send it back, which I don't know how worth it a toaster can be for $300. But this is like supposed to be the most amazing toaster ever. We need to get it out. We also do have a toaster oven that Lauren gave us. We love that, use it all the time. We don't use it for actually toasting things usually, like bread. We use it, I have like hash browns in there right now. So we use it for stuff like that or to like heat up food, but we don't actually use it just like as our toaster. And we keep it in the pantry. So it's kind of a pain to like get in and out just for toast. Plug it in. I have my English muffins. Sweet, okay, let's see. So you can see it has English muffin, pastry, Waffle, bagel, bread, and you can also change how toasted you want it. Oh, and it shows you a picture. Okay, yeah, let's go with four. Buy off the Is that toaster. Like a toaster. Yeah, I also was gonna give this to Parker for Christmas, but since our other one is so crappy, I'm just getting it out early. Wait, yeah, there's no button to push. I'm clicking start. It's not doing anything. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. Perfectly cooked. How long did that take? Mm, I would say that's more than a four. That's like a six to me. The results 
I think I'm still pop. gonna give it a thumbs up, but it is very expensive. Have we had our other toaster since we got married? Yes, we have. Here's my breakfast. Parker's doing toast. Let's see, I'm gonna do mine on a four. That's what I did. Yeah, and you don't, I like mine a little crispier. Yeah, Parker burns his toast every time. Mm. What? That is so crazy. How much was this thing? It was 300 bucks. You spent 300 bucks on it. Let me have some of that. Yeah, I made one for you. Mmm. These are the best, a little hash brown. We're having it issues. It's not even toasted. Yeah, what the heck? That was really fast too. Yeah. Should I go on a four again or should I go up? I don't know, but if this thing isn't perfect every time, it's not worth it. Even if it was perfect every time, $300 <laughs> is kind of expensive. Yeah. But. Parker had to quick cancel. That is toast day. That is perfect. That's the that perfect, perfect toast right there. Yeah. Comment down below. Is that perfect or too toasted? Mm, I'm going to go ahead and say that's too toasted for me. Tutorial. I was saying that it is a very evenly toasted through toast job. Feels like it's going to have a really nice crispy crunch to it. Mm. The segment about the toaster is getting really long, but... <laughs> I wanted to say, every time that I eat buttered toast, I think, which is like a lot, I think of how as a kid, I couldn't figure out for the longest time why it was so much better when my mom made toast. And it was because I wouldn't like have everything prepared and ready to go when the toast popped up. So and so cold. it would get cold and the butter wouldn't melt and cold toast just isn't as good. And then when I finally learned the life hack that you have to put the butter on <laughs> right after the toast is done, my life was changed forever. That is a nice piece of toast. Parker's putting Cove down for a nap like an hour early since she woke up so early. Lola also woke up early, so her nap schedule's like kind of off today for like the times that she naps. So right now if we put Cove down, then they'll nap together, which will be nice. He's putting Cove down and I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite Fabletics pieces from this month. So thank you to Fabletics for sponsoring today's video. I went to my workout class this morning and this is what I wore. These are just the normal power hold leggings, which are like a classic, they're one of my favorite and then I also have on this cute, um, I was gonna say bralette. What's it called? A sports bra? I also got this jacket. I actually got this in two different colors. I have it in gray too, but it's in, um, my dirty clothes. This is the Katarina mock neck zip pullover. So super cute. I got it in this blue color and in gray and then hi Luma. I also have these cute comfy slippers. These come in four different colors and they're so soft. And then I also got these, which I've already worn, so I don't have the tag on them, but these are their cold weather leggings and the color is super, super cute. They're super comfy. I love the material of these ones. I think they're really cute paired with this puffer jacket, which I have been wearing a ton. I also don't have the tag on this with the name because I've been wearing it like pretty much every day. So I usually just keep this jacket um, like by the door or in my car and it's been like my go-to jacket to wear since it is cold now. So super cute. Um, these are some of my favorites for the month and then actually let me get this other set that I wore yesterday to show you guys. Just pulled this out of the dirty clothes because I wore it yesterday but these are two of my top favorite styles. I have these in a few colors for each style but but these are my favorite shorts. Yeah, Cloud Seamless Midi Bralette in a clay pen and Cloud Seamless High Waisted Short in clay pen. So definitely get these. They're super cute and they always have like different colors of them. So like I said, I have a few different colors in each of the styles. But Fabletics is doing one of their biggest cyber sales ever right now. So this is the perfect month to sign up to become a VIP. You can get lots of holiday shopping done. I work with Fabletics every single month so I always have tons and tons and tons of pieces. So I usually will give some to my friends because I have so many and they literally always get like so excited when I have new stuff because everything is super cute. But right now you can get any two bottoms for $24 and 80% off all items when you sign up to become a VIP. So literally the best deal ever. They have great prices, tops and bottoms starting at $7.99 and bras as low as $4.99 when you sign up to become a VIP. So I'm gonna have the link down below if you guys wanna check it out. It's like too hot inside to be wearing this jacket, but yeah, definitely check that out. Okay, we have discovered 
that one, I went way overboard on the containers. So let me and just say, two, this sucks. I thought that Aspen had like seen a blog post or something that was like, make your fridge amazing. These are the things you need. Put these in it. This is how it'll look good. I thought she had a step-by-step -step instructional thing. She just kind of like was like, I'm gonna buy all these and hope that they work. And so yeah. we don't know like what to put in where. Yeah, I usually, my plan was to like measure the fridge, figure out what I could get, what I needed. And then I didn't have time to do that before I went to that store. These are all from the container store. They're just the home edit bins and stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll just kind of get like a bunch of them and then I can see what fits and then bring it back because I thought that would be easier, which that's what we're gonna do. I'm pretty sure I accidentally threw away the receipt too. These ones are all way too big. I think if you had like a bigger fridge, then it would work better. And then also I didn't think about the fact that we have to like wash all of them, which just sucks. <laughs> so yeah, we kind of like laid it out and then took them out and we're gonna put them back in once they're all washed. But I don't know, this is kind of a fail because I don't think I even really buy enough food for us to be able to like fill these. I feel like these are good for like bigger families, like these yogurts and stuff. It only takes up like a tiny percent of the container. So it probably would be better to just like have it like this, but we already started and I have all these veggies and I'm not gonna like empty this into a thing, you know? I don't know, I didn't really think this through all the way. I just, TikTok got me. I have some veggies that I could put into one of them, like uh, like this broccoli and stuff, but it's kind of like I might as well just, you know, I might as well just keep it <laughs> like this. I don't know. So yeah, over on this side, we have some containers. So we are washing those right now and I'll put in like carrots, berries, peppers, all that stuff that's like more, um, kind of goes bad a little bit faster. And then in here, this is what we had in here before, just like fruits that last a little bit longer. I have some veggies in here. I don't have very much stuff down here. I have an egg container thing that we're gonna put the eggs in. And then, yeah, so I didn't really have room to put like the big containers. So I'll show you guys when it's like all the way finished. A little bit later, I'm gonna shower right now. It is 12.26 and um, I'm gonna hope that Lola sleeps until one and I'm gonna go shower really quick. But yeah, a little bit of a fail just because I didn't really plan ahead. And uh, yeah, these are all like need to get washed now. Anyways, that's the update on that. So far so it is the next day um cove just woke up from her nap it looks like parker heated her up some lunch because we actually had a meeting this morning so we took cove over to lauren's house for a couple hours and she had a bunch of snacks there again she was up at like 5 45 today so she just took a nap she actually slept for a long time because she went down for napoli and slept until almost 3 30 so lola is sleeping too i'm actually going to a little friendsgiving tonight so yeah that'll be fun and i wanted to show you guys the fridge finale so like i said it was a little bit of a fail because i feel like i don't really have like enough food um i posted a picture of this yesterday and all the other moms were like don't let the milk spill i can't find the lid to this i don't know if you can buy it separately but that is breast milk in there anyways this is what it looks like all finished so like i said i feel like i kind of don't have enough food to where this is like makes sense for us but i don't know it looks good it looks nice and pretty so yeah that is what the after looks like don't know how worth it it is for the fridge but we do have our pantry organized pretty nicely and i love this this is definitely worth it because all this stuff like lasts a long time you know so anyways yeah I wanted to show this cute set that I just changed into. This launches with our LG Winter Collection in I think like a week or so, but it's so cute. Maybe even less than a week, I don't know, but super cute and soft. So this is what I'm wearing to Friendsgiving. And then I have cute hoops and a necklace. I feel like jewelry just dresses up any outfit. I always wear like the comfiest stuff and then just put jewelry on and it looks like you actually dressed up a little bit. Yeah, comfy set, OOTD. We just shot 
for Parker with these fun toys. I'm so excited. These are like Cove's Christmas presents and she literally is like getting a sneak peek of them. But these are so fun. I love sensory bins. I'm so excited for her to have these. They're just from Amazon. They had a bunch of different ones. So I got her this dinosaur one and an ocean one and they had a bunch of other ones so i'm sure she is gonna like these and then we also got this fun little like ice cream shop thing that she's been obsessed with so we'll save these for christmas she hasn't really tried to get into it because she doesn't know what it is yet but this one she already opened so we got that we got some fun block lola is over here hanging out huh what are you doing you just had some milk look at this this is one of our KiwiCo toys that we got when Cove was a baby, so Lola also likes it. Coco, what are you doing? Show me your boots. What are those? Show me your boots. Okay. She is like obsessed with wearing her boots. And she likes to also wear them inside. Anyways, I think I might end the vlog here since it's getting so dark and I'm leaving soon. It's 4.43 and I need to leave at like 5.30. So we are eating dinner at the Friendsgiving and then we're doing a little like gift exchange thing. So I got my presents all picked out and wrapped up. Yeah, I think that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to check out Fabletics, link down below. They have a great offer going on right now with their cyber sale. So yeah, definitely check that out. But that is gonna be all for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. What are you saying? Bye. Bye. Okay, see ya. Did you want to hold the camera?